Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another Unity tutorial on Gyroscope. Today we're going to see how you can take the Gyroscope input from your phone and apply that to an object in Unity. So Gyroscope basically defines the orientation of the phone and we can use that input to control game objects in Unity. For example, when you're making a racing game, you can use Gyroscope to make the car move left and right. So let's have a plane and a cube in our scene. So we'll apply the gyroscope orientation to the plane and see how it moves. So I attach my phone to the PC and I'll be using Unity Remote to take the gyroscope input and test the game in Unity Editor. So let's go ahead and add a 3D plane and let's make it V5. Then let's go ahead and add a cube. Okay. So, yeah, that's a cube. And let's add a rigid body to the cube so that it moves when the plane tilts. Okay. So now if I play the game, the cube falls on the ground and it stays. And since both are white, we're not able to see it much clearly. So let's go ahead and create a new material. Okay, and now let's call it black. And let's change the albedo to black. Let's assign this color to the cube. Okay, so now it's good. Okay, now let's change the camera to maybe this yeah that looks good so let's select main camera and right click and set align with view okay so the game view is also same as my scene view okay so let's select the plane and let's add a new script to that and we'll call it gyro script okay and create an app Let's open it in Visual Studio for editing. So for iOS, you, uh, the gyroscope is enabled by default, but for Android, you need to enable it. And to enable the gyroscope, you can just say input.gyro.enabled equal to true. Okay, and then to get the gyroscope input, to get the gyroscope input and apply it to the plane, we're just going to say transform dot rotation is equal to input dot gyro dot attitude. Let me call it. That's it. Now we have taken the gyroscope's orientation and applied it to the plane's rotation. A debug dot log input of attitude. So that way we'll be able to see what is happening. So as you can see here, the plane is basically rotating based on my phone, and there's not much control because okay there you go yeah so i'm hardly able to keep the plane visible so that's because the phone's orientation is directly applied onto the plane and and my phone is switching between landscape and portrait orientations okay so now to make it much easier let's go to player settings global settings player settings and make sure Okay, resolution and presentation. And we set the default orientation to landscape left. Okay. So now it won't change between landscape and portrait, I guess. Okay. So as you can see, I'm able to control it, but not to a great extent. Uh, one more reason why I'm not able to control it is 
Gyroscope is right-handed and Unity is left-handed. So you have to basically negate the motion. Now, but you cannot directly assign the negative sign to a rotation. So to solve that issue, what you can do is mainly you need to rotate only in the y-axis. So we'll do transform dot rotate. So rather than assigning the gyroscope directly to the rotation, say transform dot rotate. We'll define a new vector three, and let's call it carrot. Okay. Uh, let's set rot. Sorry. Let's set rot to vector three dot width. So you need to say uh, rot dot y equal to equal to input dot gyro dot rotation rate unbiased dot y okay and to solve the left hand right hand problem you can just negate it uh, since gyro is right handed and unity is left handed you have to add a minus sign and then let's set transform dot rotate to rot okay Let's save the script, go back to Unity. Let's play the game. Okay, so based on my device moving along the Y axis, the plane is rotating. But we wanted to tilt the plane, so we have to rotate the plane around the, along the X axis rather than the Y axis. So let's change the code to that. And let's just assign rotation dot x based on the device x axis okay now let's go back to unity and let's test it out there you go awesome so that was the basics of how to get a gyro input in your unity game so if you have any other questions regarding the same, you can leave them in the comment box below. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.